This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Well, happy Friday to you. I'm Gina Maravilla, and here are the latest stories that we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. New developments in an officer-involved shooting that left a man dead. We've learned the weapon a 64-year-old man pulled on officers was actually a water gun. It happened around 9 o'clock on Thursday night near I-17 and Northern in Phoenix. Police telling us that man at the home, at his home, called 911 several times throughout the day to say that somebody was hurt. Paramedics never found anybody who was hurt, but when police arrived to follow up, the man came out of the house with what appeared to be a gun, as we said it was a water gun, and he aimed it at officers. That's when officers opened fire, killing him. No officers were hurt. A two-year-old girl is in critical condition after she was found in a pool. This happened at an apartment complex near 12th Street and Bell in Phoenix. The family told paramedics that she was underwater for about five minutes. In an effort to get more students vaccinated before school starts back up, there's a school vaccine clinic today in Phoenix. Starting at noon, parents, siblings, anyone who's at least 12 years old and older is able to get the Pfizer vaccine at 15 different school sites in Phoenix. Many families are taking advantage of this offer because students statewide will not be forced to wear masks when school starts back up again. Our communities have been some of the hardest hit by COVID. Um, a lot of our zip codes are still in the red as far as community spreads concerned. And so we want to make the vaccine as widely available as possible to our families to help support a safe launch of schools. Well, the clinic starts uh, today and it's d distributing the Pfizer vaccine. It's for anyone, again, 12 years old and older. That is uh, important to note. Registering online is encouraged, but they will indeed take walk ups. Let's go ahead and take a look at your weather. We are looking at dangerous heat for the next few days. Today, a high of 112, tomorrow 114. But as we get into next week, we will see a greater chances of rain and the temperatures will start to come down. For updates on more stories, you can follow us and you can download our apps. Subscribe to our YouTube or Roku channels as well. I'm Gina Maravilla. Make it a great day.